Hi everyone, this is Ankit for the channel The Code Studio and today I'm going to show you how to make a small game and by small I mean the simplest one you can create with C++. So let's get started. So first of all we need to include some of the basic header file that is iostream.h and the other one is Conan.h. Here come our main function. So before we move any further, let's understand what this game is all about. So this is basically a number memorizing game in which we are going to flash some of the random numbers on the screen and later user have to input those number in the particular printed order. Since we are going to flash some random numbers on the screen, so we need a function that can perform that task for us and thankfully that function is defined in the header file standard library dot h and we can write it std liv dot h now we need to store those numbers so let's make a function prototype for that and let's make it void return type um, and call it ran a now this is the function prototype and we are going to define that sometime later and after that we need an array that can store those values and I'm going to call it a1 which can store up to 50 values then there is a loop variable i and the other function that we need now is the function that will help us to show those random values and let's call it show a now let's move further and write the definition of our ran a function ran a now in our ran function what we have to do is we have to define a for loop starting with i at position 0 then we will move it to a counter variable and I didn't define the counter variable till now but I'm going to define one now what we need is we have to ran, uh, generate some random values it can be done by the function random but first we have to do it like this randomize and then we have to store these values to the array like this uh, and now this is the function that we are going to use for generating our random values and here we have to pass some parameters which is the maximum value that can be stored in our uh, that can be stored in, an, in our array and now let's make a variable called ran and its highest value should be 10 and other our counter variable and let's start our loop with at least three numbers now we have pass the ran variable here and what is going to do is it is going to generate some random values from 0 to 9 and since 10 is the highest limit it is going to generate uh, the value up to 9 now this array ai uh, this array a uh, a1 sorry I have a1 is going to store our random values next we have to define our show function that is show a now let's copy and paste this whole and you can copy this by control plus insert and here we go and now paste it with shift plus insert now we have to print our array so all we have to 
to s a1 to i and with some spaces and we are done here now let's go and check whether our functions are working correctly or not so we have used clear screen function to clear our screen then I call the ran function and then the show function later get ch and let's save it before that and I'm going to call it um, mem dot cpp let's compile it oh there are some errors statement missing and now I think we are good to go yeah. so here it is 2 4 and 3 these are the random values let's check it again 2 4 and 3 oh let's check it again 3 4 6 yep it is random 3 3 6 3 3 3 so that means our random function is working perfectly and let's define some other function now now the other function that we need now are a function that in which we are going to input uh, we are going to have uh, the user input values the other function is the check function which will check that the values entered by the user are correct or not and the last function is our gameplay function so let's define their function prototypes now the enter function enter a our check function void check and our gameplay function now these are our functions let's define them one by one now we need an another array and I'm going to call it a2 and a variable called check and I'm initializing it to 0 and I will show you later why I'm doing so so let's define our enter function that is enter a and let's copy and paste that loop again so let's give user some kind of message uh -oh. mm, and that message will be enter the element plus one since we are initializing i to zero and we are done here now we have to take user input values so a to i and our function is done here now let's define our check function and since we are going to compare the array a1 and array a2 that is input by the user we will use the if condition and if a1 i is not equals to a2 i then what it's going to do is we will change 
the value of check to check plus one and after that we will break the statement and this will be the situation when the uh, elements in a1 and a2 are identical which means that the user has not entered the correct values and we are going to punish him now <laughs> okay. uh, now we after that we are going to check if check or chk is equals to equals to zero and if this is equals to equals to zero that means that we are not going to punish the user <laughs> the gamer or the user now and what we have to do now is we have to increase the counter by one and we are doing so so that every time the user enter the correct array or the correct values after one cycle it will increase the number of the elements in the array next since the counter is increased let's increase the score of the user and i have not defined the score variable yet but i'm going to i'm going to change its value each time by 5 so i think we're done here and now else condition else if the check condition is not equal to zero or which means that this if statement becomes true then what we are going to do is we are going to print the score and say you lose and see out uh oh come on see out your score is score which we have not defined yet now move it to new line and to be new line too. So let's define score here. Make it initial position to zero. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. We are going to define our last gameplay function in the next one, and hope you like it. Till then, have a good day, and see you soon.